Hey guys, Sean C. Phillips here with Herb, Gina, and Dweebo. We just got back from seeing a late screening. Well, it wasn't super late, but of you know Quentin Tarantino's new film, Django Unchained. Now, I will say, though, the movie was amazing. What sucks was the theater we were at, which was a Kokorian, the theater, the experience of the picture was all blown out. Explain what was going on with it, Herb. It was, it was, really, it was, it was the saturation, and, mm -hmm. you know, it was ridiculous. There wasn't a rich black in the movie at all. No, it was all white behind it. And, yeah. Like, it was hurting your eyes. Our eyes are all hurting. Everything was strange. blown out about it. It was just, it, it almost had a film over it. It was such no, a cool quality. No, I know. Quality. Even the reds in the text, did you notice? Mm -hmm. they, and this no has happened before yeah, in we, another he film said that, that we both saw. He said that before with another yeah. movie, and I couldn't really see it because... But now I get it. You well, started noticing. Yeah. But we're talking about the movie, though, because we didn't let that get in the way. I mean, it sucked that that was going on. We didn't want to leave. We liked no, it. No, we didn't want to get up and tell really them. Yeah. But basically, though, the movie's about um, the... What's, what's the name of that actor who is the main guy? Well, basically, the guy's a bounty hunter who is looking for three characters, one played by M.C. Ganey, who was in Haunted High with me. Mm -hmm. And he ends up going to Django, who's a slave, because he knows that he knows where to find these guys. Right. So he ends up, you know, freeing him or basically buying him and going on a hunt to try and find these guys. Mm -hmm. And basically it leads them into having a friendship and working together and trying to get Django's wife who was taken away from him right. and to where she get went, whatever you say. But that's basically the plot to it. Mm -hmm. But it's done in the style of a spaghetti western. Right. Good, mixed, bad, and the ugly. Good, bad, the ugly. Yeah. <clears throat> mixed with kind of a revenge film, mixed with like a 70s style, kind of like all kinds of stuff in one. But I think, I very think it's pop one of, culture. Very, very, I think it was one of his most effective to me. Absolutely. I think it was absolutely. definitely his best. It's my favorite I've seen of his since Pulp Fiction, definitely. And now, what did you think of the movie, Herb? Now, we're no, going to go I, one by it one. It was really rich. I mean, it was like an epic. Oh, I mean, it was. it was what I would have wanted for Les Mis that oh, I, I just mm -hmm. didn't get. Uh, I just wish it had a better picture. But his character development was really good. People that I normally am not a fan of. I mean, Leonardo, you know, okay. But, boy, he was really good. And, and Samuel Jackson and was really Samuel good. Samuel yeah. Jackson was great. Definitely. I mean, um, the guy that was in, um, you know, the Nazi movie, Quentin's other Nazi movie. Yeah. Inglorious Bastards. Inglorious Bastards. I forget his name. He's fabulous. I mm -hmm. mean, he got an award, though, for that. He's, everybody knows him. So Even he, Jonah Hill has a cameo. Yeah. 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 He fell out of place. place yeah. Yeah. It, didn't, it and, didn't seem and like and he was the only one. Tarantino's there, too, at some point. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No. And Good music, and, too. And, yeah. yeah. Everything and, from Johnny uh, Cash to... Tupac's in there, uh, Rick Ross, yeah. all these great musical choices. And yeah. great gore scenes. Oh, Real great great gore. gore. Yeah. Now, what yeah. do you think about it, Gina? What, what is your take on it? Well, I was a little concerned, because I'm not one to want to see a lot of that stuff. But it really it kept my interest, and I mean, I had to look away because I don't like it, but... Um, it was it was incredible. I thought it was really good, and that that would not be something that I would think I'd think that way about. But it really kept my interest, and I think it was really well done. Really good characters. Now, what about you, Dweebo? Uh, well, like he said, the music was great in it, and um, I love seeing all the appearances from you know his past films, and. Um, you know, like he said, with the violence as well, like, you know, when I want to see a violent film, I'm going for, like, Natural Born Killers, kind of just so crazy with the violence, stuff like that. And I really liked recently uh, Dread, you know. I watched that with Sean in 3D, and that was really amazing film, too. And, you know, he does the violent stuff better than, you know, just the run-of-the-mill kind of... No, and the violence was the against remakes bad these people. days and... And you were really like, you happy. Yeah, you were happy to see these people. It's a kept, really great a revenge film. Like um, ever, you know, ever since Harry Brown, I've loved kind of films like that where it's sort of like the guy who gets all the bad guys to sort of repay for what they did, and right. you sort of see why they're, you know, um, why it's happening to the person that it is instead of it just sort of being like, let's just kill people <laughs> randomly, you know. Now for ratings. Out of five stars, Herb, what would you give it? Well, I don't know. I don't normally give something five stars, but, you know, I would come very close. And especially mm -hmm. the fact that you had a couple of friends in it. I thought it was really cool that M.C. Ganey 
had a part. I thought it was really cool. The frog lady. Yeah, that, from Haunted Hill. What was, she, was, was she the science she was teacher? She was one of the teachers. I, really, I really liked her. I mean, she had a really she great really part. Good um, you know, I've always liked Jamie Foxx, but mm -hmm. everybody looked good. I mean, everybody mm -hmm. worked well. It really was a, a really wonderful piece. I mean, it of was. all the Christmas movies that we've gone to no, of late, like, there's yeah. no comparison. Yeah. Oh, I mean, no. Um, we should have seen really, this one first. We should have seen, yeah. this, one yeah. seen yeah. this one first. Yeah, absolutely. But um, no, I'll. I'll I'll give it four and three quarters. Yeah. And you even want to see it again. I'll go see it again, and I don't go to see things again, but well, mainly because I want to theater. see it no. better. A better yeah. print. Yeah, no. exactly. Better quality. Of, yeah. Now, what about you, Gina? Ooh, um, I think for the character development and, and the costumes and everything, I thought it was really well done. I'd give him a lot of credit, and so I'd have to give it a four stars. And what about you, Dwayne? Um, Well, like I said, you know... His stuff always reminds me of this sort of violent stuff I like, like Natural One Killers. So I'd probably give it close to a solid five. I mean, you know, um, another film like this that, um, well, well, not like this, but like this with the sort of violence is Drive, which, you know, is a solid five for me. And so anything that he does, usually I'm a fan of. So I, I definitely would give well, it close to a five. Well, don't you think anybody that would like Kill Bill or whatever would love? This definitely, no, I yeah. like this a lot better. Oh, like, I think me, it was, this was yeah. like this one as like, a period so piece and all that. Yeah, movies, though, sometimes they have like people say like the dialogue goes on and on and on. Yeah, but this one, feel... I'm not gonna lie, this one I kind of watched another hour. Well, I didn't it's... look at my, yeah, I was not bored. No, no like, I could have I could have watched another even longer. Absolutely, version absolutely. Yeah, no, 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 I'd give it a five. Like, Whereas I looked at my phone how many times during Lane Man's. No, Lane Man's, I was just trying to, I was so ready to be out of that theater. What am I getting? Am I crowding you? What have I no. done? Uh, Sweet with, Jesus, but, what have I done? But with, when a falcon then died and I ate my own ass and then I said a long song and then signed my peace, the sign of my haste, yeah. the of my but, death and found my peace. With Les Mis, I was or, kind of, I kept seeing that great trailer and I wanted it to be all like that trailer. Well, and they then picked I, I know, the best there, part. Yeah, they, you know, they pick and, and choose what's going to really. And the sound of the songs really... was better on the trailers than in the oh, action. Yeah, what was that all about? Well, like, should, the, should, you know, they were showing that behind the scenes thing so many times. Should, we asked Russell those were better Crow songs. What he of this movie. Yeah. There is reason to be now. I think that it's a perfect five. I have nothing more to say, so I will leave this place right now. <laughs> wow. Yeah, yeah. That was pretty good. Pavarotti. Where did you go? A Dutch I Pavarotti. Said, I have nothing else to say. Oh. But, but the, the saturation could have been better in the well, Yeah, well, that not, wasn't Quentin's fault. That's not no, his fault. don't blame Quentin Tarantino for no. that. <laughs> no. Oh, if Quentin Tarantino somehow sees this review, by any chance, we'll give him the address. Yes. Yeah. So he can call the of manager where this was Tell happening. Tell him that it's not yeah. acceptable to no. no. show no. his no. film he like can, that. He could ream his ass. He'd be, yeah. so He'd be on the phone all yeah. day yeah. about that. He'd be coming down here to see it for himself. Yep. Oh, I know. But I guess we'll see you guys later. Yeah, sure. What are we going to see next? I don't know. I don't Who know. knows? I don't know. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. If you go to Happy one thing, go to this. Yeah, go to yes. this. Go to this. Yeah, even I, about even I think about Crystal. that. Yep. Yeah. No, no. Crystal. Yeah, sorry. Mm -hmm. All right. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. Bye.